I'm Rob Gears. I'm a paleontologist at the Albany Museum, sponsored by the South African Centre of Excellence in Paleontology and the Millennium Trust. I mainly work on Devonian fossils, particularly the Gramstown based Wortley Farm Lagerstätten, which is the most important fossil site in its age from Sub Saharan Africa. Recently, I made some amazing new discoveries, which are remains of Africa's earliest four-legged animals by 70 million years. However, that is actually not the most exciting thing about this particular discovery. What's far more exciting about this discovery is that they actually, that where we are now was within the Antarctic Circle during the late Devonian. And until now, all Devonian tetrapod remains have been found from the Devonian tropics. And it was believed that they all came from the Devonian tropics. Um, Devonian tetrapods are actually the first kind of tetrapods that you get. And from them all land animals, as we know, land vertebrates are descended, including mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians. They all descended from these tetrapods that we find remains of during the late Devonian. So these kind of tetrapods that we had then, they almost like fish with legs. So they probably didn't live most of the time on land, although some of them may have gone onto land occasionally, but they were mainly evolved for life in shallow water and they retained a fish-like tail and they probably moved around in shallow water in lakes and lagoons and full terrestrialization occurred at a later point. But these are our link they're really the link between fishes and animals with legs. It was a shoulder girdle berm that I first actually found at Waterloo Farm, which was quite incredible. Um, I was, uh, well, I, I've obviously studied this because it's one of the most important macroevolutionary changes in vertebrate history. And I was quite familiar with a lot of the skeletal changes. So I was splitting rocks from Waterloo Farm with my student, Chris, and I split open this rock one day and there was a little bit of bone showing and I slowly prepared out that bone more and more and as I prepared it out this bone appeared and I recognized this this is the bone off the top of the shoulder girdle of a tetrapod and I mean I was very thrilled I stopped what I was doing I left my tools I went and got the literature just to double check um, I then got hold of my former PhD supervisor, Mike Coates, who was one of the like, uh, pioneers in recent tetrapod studies. I sent him a picture. He said, yes, definitely a tetrapod. And I spoke to various other people, including my uh, later co-author, uh, Per Alberg, who's one of the most active current workers on tetrapods. So if one has a bone like that, it is so distinctive that one can actually say that that bone comes from a creature like that and it went exactly there on the top of the shoulder girl. It's a bone called the clythrum. Then I was cleaning up some other bones of a big lobe from fishes and there was a scatter of fish scales on a certain slab of rock. And as I was cleaning up a little bone in that, I was amazed to discover that hidden amongst all those fish scales was this little bone here. It's facing in the opposite direction from that one, but this again to scale, um, one can see not only do we have the clithrum of this one, the lower jaw, and several of the skull bones, including this very distinctive bone just below the eye. So when I went over all the rocks with the magnifying glass, looking for more examples of that ornament, I found just sticking out from the fish scales here, a little bit of bone here, and when I cleaned it out, it actually turned out to be the jugal from the same species of tetrapod. So the jugal is the bone that goes between the upper jaw bone, the tooth bearing piece of the upper jaw, and the bottom of the eye socket. And that little notch in it there is the bottom of the eye socket. That bone is also totally diagnostic for tetrapods. Because so that means that we now have the remains of two different tetrapods from South Africa. This top one here 
is called uh, Tutusisum Lambo. It's called after Desmond Tutu, by his permission. Um, and the other one is called Mzansia Amazona. Mzansia obviously meaning South or South Africa, because it comes from the very south of the Wood Devonian world, and it comes from South Africa. And Amazona meaning water ripples, which refers to those very distinctive ornament on the bone. 